volare oh, oh, oh. cantare oh, oh, oh. Sei molto bravo. I'm so excited. I got an email from Chef Morris Dunson. And it's the, uh, the recipe for uh, sinuglau with a twist. I hope I pronounced the word sinuglau correctly. And this is a combination, I think, of uh, kini launa ista and sinukpa, diba? So we need uh, some uh, tuna, fresh tuna. But first, I'm gonna buy uh, fresh pork meat, okay? The best place to buy the uh, lechon belly is in the Chinatown here in Rotterdam. So let's go, sige. So you can still see some tulips here in the Netherlands. I hope you like tulips. But the weather is so bad today. I really hope it's better in Sicily, Italy. So let's have a look at Chef Morris Dunson. So let's go to Chef Morris Dunson, see how he's doing in Sicily, Italy. Thank you so much, Kuya Joey. This is Chef Morris. And right now we're here in Italy. As you can see, the weather is, is quite nice. It's a sunny day today. It's a beautiful day. And uh, I want to show you around. This is my town. It's called Chaka, Sicily. Now let's see if Kuya Joey managed to buy Liempo for our Sinoglau na lulutuin natin later. Let's check it out. Deze is 2,9, bijna 3 kilo. Oh, dat op 40. Is goed, ja. Yeah. We're getting about 3 kilos of uh, pork belly, lechon belly, without bone. We got the pork belly, guys. And now we also need the tuna, so let's go to a fish market and find fresh sashimi grade tuna. So we are here at the fish market or fish store, I have to say it's really big. It looks like a boat, no? A big boat, it's very nice. They have really fresh tuna, so let's go inside and get some tuna. Ik had van de week even gebeld, maar ze zeiden dat het altijd op voorraad ligt. Ja, ik heb, ik heb 400 voor het recept nodig. Wat wat je normaal. So the fish is really fresh here. The... Altijd lekker zeebaar. Dank je wel. Dank je wel. Ja. Fijn dag. Tot ziens. We got the fish. Let's go back home. So we're back home. We're gonna start with the uh, lechon belly. We have a beautiful piece of pork here and it's uh, 400 grams. So Chef Morris will be online soon, but he asked me to prepare this pork belly first because we need to marinate it. So it's quite a simple uh, marinade. We have garlic and smoked paprika powder, some olive oil and pepper and salt. So we're just uh, chopping the bawang with a knife. So now we're just adding the uh, olive oil, garlic. We'll add the smoked paprika powder. A bit of salt, quite a bit because it's grilled pork. I think it's nice with pork, a little bit salty. And black pepper. 
So we'll be just mixing this. That looks really yummy. And it smells amazing. So I'm so happy to learn this dish from Cebu. I never made this one, but I made uh, Kilabin tuna before, or Kini Launa Isda, but not with the grilled Liempo. So let's just add this lovely marinade. So I'm just adding all of the marinade. It's not a lot, but I think that's probably enough. And then we're just gonna use our hands to just rub it into the meat. And we're just gonna leave this for about 30 minutes and then put it on the barbecue. I'm super excited how this liempo will turn out today, guys. I think it's the first time for me to cook a dish from Cebu. Let's see how it looks. Wow, it smells so good. I think I might just flip it over just to see how it looks. Wow, look at that. Looks really nice and roasted. We're gonna, we're gonna do a very special dish from uh, Philippines. It's called Sinuglao. Okay, so I'm adding the, the flour. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yeast. Yeah. Not too much. Just about 2 grams or so. Add uh, 350 grams of water, 350 ml. Okay, so we're also adding 350 ml water. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna mix the, um, the flour, the yeast and the water. Yeah. I'm just stirring it a little bit. So this is for the tortillas, right? Yes, for the tortilla. Now let's add... Uh, if. Once it's a little bit uh, incorporated, we can add a little bit of olive oil and then the salt. Okay, so I have the uh, two tablespoons of olive oil here. That you said two tablespoons, right? Yes, yes. We'll add that. Okay. So I'm just gonna use my hands to make a dough, guys. This is gonna be the yeah, nice awesome. tortillas. I'm gonna add a little bit extra flour. So I'm just mixing it and when this dough is basically ready so we're gonna set it aside and let it rest. Chef Morris, can you please tell us how it went with the TV show that you won? Yeah, sure. It was actually last year, like here in Italy, and uh, we, we saw one advertisement on uh, TV. Actually, it's my mother-in-law who saw the, the competition. And then she said, why don't you try to to uh, apply and then I applied so from 1000 chefs that applied down to 500 down to 100 and then to my final 54 chefs down to two and uh, the finale we went to uh, Manchester it was it was uh, a little quite tough actually because you know uh, I'm not Italian all of the all of them are Italians actually and we are fight uh, we are like competing for an Italian food so <laughs> It's kind of, you know, oh, wow. I was the underdog, so <laughs> yeah, I was the only Filipino there. So can you imagine <laughs> the pressure inside? But at the end, I, I, I made it like, uh, OK, I said, uh, if this is for me, I, I will just do my best and, uh, you know, I will win. <laughs> yeah, I won the show. Uh, I won the contract uh, with uh, Gino da Campo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that uh, I can share my story here. So now our dough is rested for five minutes. Now this is the last touch for our dough. So we're gonna put it on the table and work it out like for two minutes. So we're putting the dough here. Okay, so I'm gonna just do like you said, just uh, with the fist a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's much easier now. Right now, let's add uh, some lemon juice in on the bowl. So we're, we're squeezing some lemon juice, we're using two lemons. And this is going to be the marinade for the fish, for the tuna, right? Yeah, this will cook our uh, tuna. We're going to add like three to four tablespoons of uh, vinegar. So three is fine. Okay, there we go. So we're adding uh, one tablespoon of uh, sugar, table sugar. So I'm adding about uh, half a tablespoon of salt. I just do this on feeling. And some black pepper, right? Yeah, some black pepper. And then we added 
So now we have this marinade. It has, um, I'll, I'll just repeat it, okay? Sure. So this has uh, the lemon juice of two lemons, a little bit of lemon zest. Um, it has vinegar, about three tablespoons vinegar, some crushed garlic and pepper and salt, right? And, oh, sorry, and a little bit of sugar. It has a tablespoon of sugar to balance the, the, the flavors. Uh, just to balance the acidity, we've added one, uh, one tablespoon of uh, sugar. So right now, what we want to do is uh, we're gonna add a little, a little bit of uh, spring onion and our, if you have some chopped parsley or basil. I'm cutting a little bit of the uh, spring onions and also some uh, fresh parsley. A little bit of parsley, yes. It, it will make our uh, marinade to be more, uh, you know, like uh, refreshing with the parsley. And at the same time, uh, the onions will give the it more. Uh, the onions will give it more uh, tasty. You know, it will become more tasty because of the onions. A little bit of freshness and uh, parsley okay. or basil. Any actually any herb available, you can use it. Okay. So this is the time that we're gonna add our uh, vegetable, the cucumber and uh, our apple we, we're gonna cut it out uh, into cubes small cubes okay. like dice like this one like this small apple <laughs> this, this green apple looks really good so i'm gonna cut this in same size as the cucumber right yes yes it's really nice it will it will add really uh, it will make our uh, marinade very refreshing with this one. So it's like uh, it, it will clean your palate every time that you eat the tuna with the apple. Okay, so I'm mixing in the uh, the apples with the cucumber and the dress the the marinade. So now the last that we will put is the some chili. Some chili, right? Yeah, some chili, and uh, if you want to add some red onions, you can also put some red onion right now. Okay. I'm going to add some red onion. There's a lot of chili here. I have different types, but uh, I don't want to make it too spicy because actually I want to bring it to my parents also, you know, have them try it. What, what do you think? Is it okay for uh, one red chili or is it uh, you need more? Maybe I think uh, if you don't want spice, it's half of that is enough, I think. Oh, half of, half of this chili? Okay. We're gonna also add half of the sili. Maanghang, um, ba? Then the most important thing is after we put everything, we we taste it. Okay, so we're also adding some red onions. So we're just mixing everything, all these ingredients, and it smells amazing. But we're also gonna taste it to see how the taste is. Oh wow! Ah, it tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I like this combination. <laughs> I'm surprised with the taste. It's really good. <laughs> I use this combination in my restaurant. Oh wow! <laughs> it's <a> professional <laughs> recipe. We got the uh, grilled liempo. Poggy, you like grilled liempo? And the fresh tuna. So what we're gonna do is uh, we want to cut it out uh, like uh, just medium-sized cubes, not so small, because we want the, the texture of the tuna. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna show you and you can see if it's good, yeah? How do you think like this? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, okay so we're cutting the uh, tuna in cubes. Yep. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. Yeah. Mix it by hand a little bit. We're mixing in the tuna in that salad. It looks really good. So we're gonna add a little bit of ginger, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just checking if it's not gonna be too wet, okay? Yes. We're going to put this in the fridge and now we're going to make the uh, tortillas. Okay, so I'm adding the, uh, the flour here. And we're gonna take our dough. It's very sticky. <laughs> So we have the uh, the ball here. We're gonna make uh, a hole in the middle, like a donut. 
Yes. Let's clear like a donut like this, and we're gonna break it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna make like uh, about ten pieces or so. So we made uh, this in uh, eight tiny balls, as you can see. And now we're gonna turn these into tortillas. We're just gonna flatten these. Just flatten them, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of flour here. This um, invention rolling pin, because it's not improvised it's a rolling pin. We need to be uh, creative, diba? Right? <laughs> yeah, yes. Tama, tama. <laughs> Pusong Pinoy. <laughs> We're almost finished with this tortillas, with rolling them. I'm heating up this pan. So I'm gonna add just one drip of uh, olive oil. Let's see how this one looks. Mm. So we're almost done, guys. Okay, so we're cutting the liempo like this first our tortilla it's time to um, to plating i'm gonna put in our tuna kilabin kilabin tuna so like that just make sure you get uh, a little bit of everything a little bit of everything now let's add in our pork belly liempo we're gonna add our grilled uh, liempo few slices and i'm gonna add a little bit of green like just like this one the lettuce so just a little bit of green like that okay that's it and then we're gonna taste it Para na, kain tayo. Tikman na natin. Tikman natin. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. oh the flavor is so good <laughs> amazing <laughs> oh this is so nice no joke lang <laughs> This is a dish from the Philippines, from the island of Cebu and it's called Sinuglao. 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 Yeah, it's a combination of kilabin tuna, the raw tuna dish and? with the fried pork belly or the grilled pork belly, liempo. Sounds good. Yeah, you can just fold it. Already. Right. Mm. It can be a little bit spicy and the pork belly is grilled on the barbecue. Surprising. Look at that, It's fresh, exciting. <laughs> Inviting <laughs> to me. It's really so good. It's so messed up. No joke. <laughs> so I really hope you like this episode. Please check out Chef Morris' video. Okay, it's here because you will see how he makes this dish. And I'm so happy um, to be cooking today with uh, Chef Morris. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, I hope this dish will become more famous here in the Netherlands and in Europe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time with more Filipino food. <laughs>